So this is a new 10 times lossless zoom here at the upper phone and we can zoom out. This is how far in it went. Can we zoom in on his face? So all the way in there is thanks to the, the three cameras on the back. Over here with the telephoto lens. And with the stabilizer on the telephoto, so when you all zoomed in over there, super stable. It's like not shaking. And it's, it's great for video in a super zoomed mode. And you can digitally zoom uh, to 20. And then maybe depending on the resolution, it's still lossless kind of. It depends if you do half the resolution. And then you can go back all the way back out. Nice. So it's ready for mass production. In Q2, the phone is going to be available. Right here. And if we go in here, if I go, yeah. thank you. I go right here, and yeah. maybe I can go here. So it's a Snapdragon 660, but not quite on this latest Android yet. I call it the R11s. But the main demo right here is tech demo about the zoom. I'm just zooming a whole lot. It's crazy zoom. So here's the Oppo's 5G smartphone. You can just walk in the street, there'll be faster internet, faster functionalities. And they were launching it today here at the Mobile World Congress. This guy just walks around and uh, gets closer. Express themselves through infinite possibilities. Now, for the first time ever, we bring you the world leading 10 time lossless Zoom technology. <laughs> So firstly, let's take a look at these photos. So, the left one is from ultra-wide angle. If you zoom in 10 times, you get the right one. It's amazing, right? The entire module includes a 48 megapixel high-res main camera and a 120 degree ultra wide lens angle and a telephoto lens, which are responsible for different focal lengths. Design and plan spec. So, traditionally, we know to achieve 10 times zoom, the lens module would be 15 millimeters thick, right? Eventually which solved that difficulty by using a periscopic model. So, in the circle tense, we place our original lay of right structure lens to one side in a horizontal layout. Then, we used a, a unique prism to reflect light into our lens system for image formation which significantly reduces the thickness of the lens. So, users can immerse themselves in the joy it brings and move one step closer to this wonderful and beautiful world. We amaze the market again with the first ever bezel lens in the launch free smartphone. Took a case 
To cascade the benefits of innovation, we have expanded our product portfolio with the R15 and the R17 product series. The R17 Pro, with impressive look and all-round functionality, features SuperBook on proprietary flash charging technology interaction. Last year, we entered the four European markets, Italy, France, Spain, and the Netherlands. The last month alone, we further expanded to three more markets, the UK, Turkey, and the Poland. Today, you can find the OPPO in more than 40 countries and regions. The number of our global smartphone users has exceeded 250 million. We have also formed a 5G standardization team as early as 2015, which I'm leading, to focus on the research and development of 5G standards. Up to now, we have submitted more than 2,000 technical documents to 3GPP, the mastermind behind 5G. We unveiled our 5G ready prototype based on the Fine X, which was a developer, developer version with integrated communication capabilities. So now you may all wonder where we are in our journey to 5G. So I'd like to return the floor to Ali. Thank you very much. Yeah. Countless technical challenges have been addressed. Pivotal elements like antenna and IF module have been tuned again and again just to deliver user high data rate and great communication reliability. Of course, these achievements could not be accomplished without the full support from our partner. Today, we have a great honor to have Cristiano Amo, the president of Qualcomm, to join with us. Very happy to be here. It's such an honor, and it's exciting times, right at the beginning of Mobile Congress 2019. Thank you, Opo, for the great partnership. Thank you, my friend, Tony Chen, uh, CEO of Opo. And this is about a long story of collaboration. Qualcomm for over 30 years has been inventing technologies to change how the world connects. <laughs> and Opo were among the many of the companies that join us on this journey. And the fact that we can launch together a phone today is not a coincidence. It's the result of great collaboration and hard work to make this technology come to life here in, in Barcelona in 2019. It is a mature smartphone society that will connect everything around us. But when we go back to our most loved device, the smartphone, everything we do will become better. It will change how we share contents. It will, it will change how we interact with other people. It will change how we download and collaborate in how we apply this, this device for productivity and entertainment. Power the OPPO 5G device. It will bring 5G into commercial reality in 2019. The 855 is the fastest mobile processor platform. It's been breaking new benchmarks across connectivity, performance, and AI. It's two times the performance on artificial intelligence of the nearest Android competitor, and it has completely redefined experiences for multimedia and gaming. And it is on that platform that cooperating with OPPO, we are going to bring the first OPPO 5G smartphone to the industry, and we're very excited about everything that we can do together. Next, we'd like to invite you all to place your hands on the screen for the launch of the OPPO 5G landing project. Three, two, one. Now with the OPPO 
5G landing project officially launched, we would invite you all to capture this great moment with a group photo. Thank you.